Hey everyone, it's Justin here. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about another new San Diego feature called Employee Profiles. This is part of the um, employee experience or employee relations. Um, and I'm exposing it or I'm going to show it to you from the employee center. So this is that new central place to come in for uh, if you're an employee, no matter what department you're looking for services from. You can see that all here in the employee center. I've shown this on a couple of videos. Um, to be frank, you're going to see this on a lot of videos. It's a, it's a launching pad for your employees to get to a lot of the information they need. So something new is this employee profile. So if I go up into the upper right hand side and click on the drop down, I have an option for a profile. And uh, this is what's going to show for a profile. This one's already built out with some data. Um, so we got a nice little banner at the top. We got the user's picture. Um, the name and their department and look we can actually edit the profile image so we've got some capabilities there for modifying some of these details when appropriate and these widgets so I've got about my team my personal information contact details you're able to configure what these icons look like um, and let the person come in and configure things like their pronouns if they want to do that or their nickname stuff like that so it takes two major parts of the ServiceNow user system and brings them together in one employee profile. Um, I'll scroll down so you can see some personal information for Ramon here. Uh, contact details, employment details, if he wants to do some delegation while he's out of the office for his approvals and stuff like that. Emergency contacts, contact preferences, and then just over here, total rewards package. This is all demo data, so don't worry. Uh, we're not showing somebody's financial information on a YouTube video. PTO balance, their direct reports. We could jump to the org chart from the My Team and kind of see what that looks like um, directly from the, my, the employee profile. So my first question was like, what's going on here? Um, what's all involved? Is this a new table? Is it something else? The answer is yes, it is a new table. Uh, ServiceNow is doing two things. They're basically making it so an employee can update or see their information or see other people's information from one place and not having to go to a user table and an HR table. And let me explain what that looks like from um, a technical perspective. So we'll jump over into the back end. This is an employee profile, what one looks like. Um, so if I was to open it up, I don't see much information here, so I can see the employment information, some of it you saw there, the contact information, very sparse, right? And if we look at the different columns, there's not much going on here with this. Um, so these things like uh, preferred pronoun or nickname, stuff like that, those things I could edit on the portal there, they're on this table for employee profiles, right? So employee profiles, yes, is a new table, but let's look at the configuration of that widget. So see here, I've got little sections about bio, personal information, contact details. If I was to jump in and look at one of these, let's go to the about one, that's first. Then you can define exactly what fields show up on that portal, what icon, what order they show up in. And the reason I'm showing you all this is because I think this is where I had my aha moment. What if I want a new field to show up there? You, did, you just saw on the employee profile, there wasn't a lot of fields, um, it was pretty sparse. And this is where it came together for me. So we've got our table employee profile at the top here, at the top of the tree. And what ServiceNow has done, if you look at this, now they're pulling in, oh, your HR profile. Okay, so all the information that may be part of the HR system would be showing up here, and I can put that in the My Profile widget. And then there's the rest of the employee profile fields, and oh, look, there's the user table. So everything that might be tracked on the sys user table all the stuff that might be coming over from the directory system through LDAP or through the HR system to populate things like department, employee number, name, gender, all that stuff. So essentially what's happening is, oh, and you can dot walk to other um, related fields, right? So if you wanted to go to the department and grab the business unit and pull in the, um, ooh, pull in the hierarchy level or the name or something like that, you go, so these can all be dropped on that employee profile. But the real secret in the sauce here is now we have one employee profile to manage, one place for the employees to go to, and one place as an administrator to kind of see everything and bring it into one place, whether that's the HR profile or the system user profile. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with someone who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.